Hey, so we're just gonna have to forgive the whole uh, way that I'm recording this because obviously this is not normally how I do this. So I'm gonna just do a quick little tutorial on how I've been coloring my ostomy pouches. It was something that I played with by making a stencil actually the other day for one that I wrote love. I made it into a sticky stencil using Avery paper, cut out the word love and then stuck it on my pouch and used speedball paint to make my pouch say the word love. And I really liked the way that it looked and uh, I think Salts is coming out with a new line and one of their pouches is black. So it gave me the idea. I have black speedball paint so I was wondering if I could do it and it worked. So I used the Censura Mio pouches and I know that the speedball paint works very well on these particular pouches and I think it's because of the way the material is. I don't have other pouches so I don't know if it works on other pouches it might be worth trying but honestly I think it might be the way that this material is that it works really well on this this is a blue pouch that I did so uh, speedball paint is very bright if you're going to be doing colors so this blue is extremely bright what I like about these Centura pouches is that you can roll them up and tuck them inside of themselves like this so that it makes it like that little half shape. And so I did paint the backs of these pouches as well so that whenever I folded it up that it would obviously be like the same color. So I'm gonna show you what the back of it looks like because there's really no point once it's against your skin to have like the entire, you'll see. So that's what it looks like on the back. Um, as some of you know that watch my videos, I do cut out the filters on my Centura Mio pouches and there's a video on how to do that. I hate the filters on these things and there's a way to cut them out. So I'm going to do another one of these pouches in black. I'm going to get right into it. This is what it looks like. So it's more like a, I would say it kind of looks like a silky black in person. It's not like a jet black color. It's very silky black. So. Anyhow, you're going to need speedball paint. So speedball paint is a screen printing ink. You can probably use just about any screen printing ink, but speedball is pretty cheap and it's sold at uh, like Michael's and Hobby Lobby and stuff. It's you know cheap enough and it works really well uh, for this. I wouldn't recommend using speedball paint for screen printing because it actually washes out pretty quick on clothing. Now, fortunately, it's not gonna wash out on these within the time frame that you end up changing your pouch anyway. So you you know change your pouch within what two days to seven days. It doesn't wash off within that time frame, so you don't have to worry about it. But on your clothing, don't do it. They have really cool colors. So there's bright red, which I did love, written in bright red. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that one. And then this is the blue, so you can see it is super bright. And then yellow, which obviously like I'm not gonna do yellow, but I could mix it with the blue and make a green one or you know whatever and then black so i'm going to show you with the black how to do this you're going to need a paintbrush and this one's still wet because i cleaned it off earlier you need a paintbrush you'll need something to like protect whatever surface you're working on and you'll need some paper towels or something similar and like i'm pretty sure i literally have one paper towel left so i'm just going to show you how to do this real quick so take your speedball paint and it's so easy um get it worked into your brush and just basically kind of start pressing it onto the material and please try not to glob it on there because it will actually spread pretty far and the more you rub it in the more that's gonna like help to stain into the material so once you basically once you get the pouch covered with this by like spreading it around um, what you can do is on very low heat with a hairdryer, you can like from a far distance, just barely hit it with a hairdryer and that'll help to let the color sink in. So do the whole front of the pouch and then flip it over, do the back of the pouch. Obviously it's not going to stick to any of the plastic parts, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And then whenever you get it completely covered, you can take your, um, paper towel and just kind of like dab it and wipe it a little bit and that's going to pick up any excess. So after you dab everything and pick up any excess, then go ahead and hit it with your hair dryer. And it's just that easy. It just takes like a minute to do um, you know, a pouch 
And it might be something, you know, you could do a few of them whenever you get your pouches in, just do a few of them, and then you'll have them all ready whenever you go to do your pouch changes. I think it looks really cool. I really like the idea of being able to have, you know, your pouches have some designs to it. I really want to get behind using uh, Ostomy pouch covers, but I already don't like the idea of bulk, which essentially is like why I cut the filters out, because I find the filters to be bulky, so, or the pre-filter, whatever it's called. I cut the pre-filter out, so I, as much as I want to use an ostomy cover because I like the way that it looks, um, I just don't want to add excess bulk. So I like being able to decorate my pouch that I'm going to throw away and not have to add bulk to my pouch. So this is the front. You can't paint anything down here, but that's fine because once you roll all this up, that's tucked in anyway, so you can't see any of that. Now I'm just going to sit here and do the back. You see how easy this is um, to get that color to spread. Just takes a sec. And I want to be able to show you what I mean by like dabbing everything up. Let me know what you guys think. If any of you guys try doing this, I want to see some of the designs. As far as using the Avery paper, what I was talking about with that. So Avery is a a brand of like specialty types of like labels and stuff and you can actually get Avery brand paper where it's completely solid. Um, if you had a Cricut machine that would be like a perfect thing to use for this. A Cricut machine is something where you like hobby crafty people will you know it cuts out a, a design basically. So it's, it's kind of a cool machine but I don't have one nor do I really care to make time for that kind of thing and I don't mind where like I print out a design on the Avery paper and I use an X-Acto knife and I cut it all out. So it doesn't take me but a second to do that anyway. Um, Cricut machines in my opinion are kind of expensive. So that's why I don't have one. <sighs> um, but okay, so you cut out the design and then you use the, you peel it off and you stick it on. So now you've created a stencil. I thought about like you could always, you know, get um, a heat on design but then you obviously you can't like use an iron to press on the design because the iron would melt the plastic on your pouch so that would not work like, you know what I mean like the inside of your pouch is made out of plastic so you can't take a um, iron to it to press on anything like that so you have to use if you're gonna do it you're, with a stencil you have to use that kind of type of Avery paper so if you have a Cricut machine that would be a really cool idea to use your Cricut machine to cut out a design and make a stencil onto some sticky paper and then use the speedball paint to put the design onto your pouch which is essentially what I did um, on my Instagram page you can see so I'm gonna put my brush down obviously my fingers are covered in this stuff it doesn't stain your fingers fortunately it washes off your hands so easily so I'm gonna take this and just wipe off anything that like got on the plastic um, I really recommend letting this sit at least overnight before you use it. I didn't do that <laughs> with the one that I have on right now, but I also know that I wiped it off really well and I hit it with the hair dryer for a second so that that set the color into the fabric. But I do recommend that you, um, you know, you can also rinse it off before you wear it too. So once you get it hit with a hair dryer, you can just run a little bit of water over the top of it. And, and that way you know that you're not gonna like stain your clothes. Oops, I kind of missed a spot here. I think it was because there was water on my brush from whenever I rinsed it off earlier. Okay. Anyway basically it. I'm probably just going to let this sit like this overnight. Just right here. And that's what it looks like. Like I said, you just uh, can roll up the bottoms of these. I'm trying not to get black stuff everywhere. It's all over my hands. And this is what it looks like whenever it's rolled up. Kind of cool. I really like the black. I think it looks really hot. Like It's kind of sexy. You're going to come with me to wash my hands. Um, and then there's the blue. 
So the blue is just kind of something fun. Like if you wanted to maybe match a swimsuit, it would be a really cool idea to match up your swimsuits. So have fun with it. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.